Stepping Stones by Lucy Kinsley, Part 2, Chapter 4. Next Weekend. Hey, what are you doing? There was a big bullfrog. I think there are lots of them. I hear them croaking at night. My dad says that noise is toads, so are you sure you didn't see a toad? Yes, it hopped into the pond. I've got this book of frogs and reptiles, and this was definitely a frog. Aren't frogs reptiles? Amphibians. Nuh uh, they're reptiles. I know, I guess straight A's in science. What do you get? C's, but I like animals, except snakes. Why not snakes? I just don't like them, okay? I think they're cool. I see it. What, the frog? I wonder if I can catch it. Oh, we can make a little house for it. I think I can sneak up on it. You're going in there? You're going to get all muddy. Shh, don't scare it. Come here, little froggy. Are you sure that's not a... Snake? What? Where? I got it. Whoa, I don't got it. Yes! His name is Henry. Actually, the ear disc here is smaller than the eye, which means she's a girl. No way you can tell that. I think it's a boy. Come along, Henry. Let's set up a little mansion for you. We could use an apple crate for her house. I think Henry would prefer a watering can as a house. Hey, I caught her. Do you want a nice watering can, can, don't you, Henry? Give her back. Don't listen to her, Henry. Give me my frog. I'm holding him. You wouldn't have caught him without my help. He's mine, too. But I actually caught him. I mean, her. Ugh. Hey! F freedom! Look what you did. You made me drop him. You were hogging her. Mom! She's in the shower. What's up? Andy let my frog get away. It wasn't your frog. It was too. I caught it. I did too. And I named him. She was a girl. Okay, calm down. Jenny, you've gotten used to being the only kid around here. You've got to take to learn to share and take turns. But but you can't just rule the ro the roost. I know you're not used to siblings, but you've got to learn. Urgh. Okay, Miss Drama Queen. Hi, sweetie. You okay? Fine. I know it's a lot to get used to with the move and the girls spending the weekends here. Yeah. There are going to be a lot of bumps along the way, but we all get through it. You just have to be a good hostess. What? These girls are away from their mom. This farm is new to them, too. We need to be gracious and try some to share our things with them. But she's such a mean, bossy know-it-all. That's not nice, Jen. She makes me feel stupid. And she took my frog. Couldn't you have shared the frog? So she gets to decide everything? What to name it and where to put it and how to market it to run a market? Sweetie, she's away from home. So am I. This is our home now. It's not mine. I didn't choose to be here. I want to go back to the city. To Dad. Well, that's not an option anymore. We're here now, and we have to make the best of it. I don't have it to make the best of it anything. You don't get to tell me how to feel about this. That's not fair. I'm trying while you're failing. 
you failed at staying married, and now you're failing at the stupid farm. You can't even keep deer from eating your garden. Options. Run away, draw pictures in the park for money. Fall into the pond and get that pneumonia and and go to the hospital where everyone will feel sorry for me. Number three. Yeah. You're not coming? I can't this weekend. There's a benefit for work. Again? We just went to one last week. You can skip it. You can skip it, but I'm not trekking out to the country again. I've got obligations here. I want Jen to grow up with nature. Do you want more plants? We're running out of room for them all. You know that's not the same. You've got the, this fantasy about country. Just go. But don't expect me to come. Chapter 5. Next weekend. Hi, girls. How was market this weekend? This week. Great. I introduced some sales techniques into our business, and a lot of people seem to like it a lot. Jen dropped a whole bag of granola and spilled it. I couldn't help it. I was trying to like five customers. Maybe if you got a little more organized, you could have ha- handled it. You already can't even handle working in the cash box. What? Jenny, is that true? She has trouble with math. You know, sweetie, you really should work on that. You ought to be able to make a change if you work if you're going to work in the market. She's right, Jenny. You've got to get your those numbers straight. Andy's great at math. You should ask her to quiz you. I'm happy to run some flashcards with you. Whoops. Jenny, I've asked you to be careful. What? It wasn't me. Andy was the one who dropped it. Oh. But you automatically thought it was me, right? Because I'm too clumsy? Because I'm so stupid? I can't make a change? Don't overact, overreact, Jenny. You're being dramatic. Get back here, young lady. Come on, Jen. I'll walk home. Sweetie, be reasonable. Have it your way, kid. See you at home when you've calmed down. I'd rather walk a billion miles than to get back into that truck with you people. Silzu, which animals are we going to draw today? Owls? I love going to the zoo with you, but sometimes it makes me a little sad. Why? Well, the animals are in the city. It's not where they belong, I guess. This is a barn owl. I wonder if it wishes it was in a barn. I bet it gets what I bet it get wants to fly to the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Cool. What's going on? My sister is having a tantrum, just like every t- everyone today, I guess. I miss mommy. I hate it here. I hate it. It's scary, and we have to be outside all the time, and I want to go home. She does this sometimes. Cry, baby. Okay, honey, why don't you lie down for a bit and try to calm down? I'll be right downstairs. Hey, Reese, you okay? I get it. I'm not crazy about this place either. Really? But you're like a farmer. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, ju- I'm from the city, just like you. You are? 
Yeah, and sometimes I really miss it, and my dad. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. You'll go home soon and see your mom. Yeah. You want to hear a funny story about when I first moved here? Moved here? Sure. I went to the pond to see if there were any tur turtles. There, there were geese nesting at the side of the pond. I didn't know geese were so mean. And they made this horrible hissing sound trying to scare me away from their nest. I climbed a tree to get away from them, but I didn't know the tree had hornets in it, a hornet's nest in it. I got stung on the eye. I fell like three tree and I fell out of the tree into a big mud puddle. And that's when the geese really got mad. Did that really happen? Oh, um, yeah. That's pretty funny, I guess. I didn't really feel that same way at the time. You're a really good storyteller. Thanks. I miss Mommy. Well, I like being here with Daddy. We don't get to see him during the week when we're in the city. We should appreciate it. I miss the city. You do? How come? There's so much there. Art and stores and music on the streets. The hot dog carts, the way the lights look at night. That stuff is okay, but it's all so smell also smelly and crowded. And you can never go anywhere alone outside. And it's loud. Mommy says it's called the city that never sleeps for a reason. It's pretty loud here, too. The frogs make noise at night. Ribbit, 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 wake up. <laughs> That's true. How is everybody doing in here? It's been a rough day, so I thought I'd make some before dinner brownies. The milk is made from Mr. Fisher's farm next door, and the eggs are from the market. When our chickens grow up, we can make brownies with their eggs. Maybe we'll get a goat for the milk. If it's a brown goat, will it make chocolate milk? Reese, you know that's not the way how milk works. Maybe if it'll be a vanilla goat or a strawberry goat. Oh, how about a root beer goat? Yum. <laughs> you do that without tracing? Yeah. Jen's really is very good. In fact, I've been thinking you should draw some the labels for my granola. It, I think it would really help sales and to have a nice drawing of the bags. Really? Yeah, you could draw a special logo for the farm. Like a goat or a pea pod, I guess. Uh, yeah, I could do that. Thanks, kiddo. You're a big help. I'm not much help at the market. That's not true. I'm sorry about Walter today. He's like that with everyone. He bugs me. Sometimes he bugs me too. Me three. Me four. See, it's not just you. Ten more minutes. And then it's... And then it's time to get ready for dinner, okay? Peabod Farm. Chapter 6. Next weekend. You gotta be gentle. You don't want to want to yank on it. You take your thumb and forefinger and wrap them around the throat of the top of the teeth. Then you close your first fist in your palm like so. So who wants to go first? Okay then, step right up. Cool. I want to try. Thanks for showing the girls the rope, Steve. No problem, Walt. It's what neighbors do. You want to give it a try, Reese? Now you've skimmed the cream of the top up like this. And now's the fun part. You just shake it. That's it? Yep, that's all there is to it. 
10 shaky minutes later. Okay, let's see how it tastes on one of Mike's blueberry muffins. You girls are in for a treat. And there you have it, fresh, churn, fresh churned butter, straight from the cow. Thanks again, Steve. Mike. Anytime, neighbor. Our nephews are about their age. He's coming to stay with us in a, for a couple weeks. You should bring the girls to by to meet him. Okay, uh, let's get home. We've got a big project ahead of us. Do you think that cow would have eaten her own butter? Ew! I hope you kids are all buttered up. Ugh. Because today, you'll be laying the paths. But there are already paths. Yes, but when it rains, smarty pants, they get muddy. We need to keep the paths dry by laying wood chips down. That's That way, we can get all around the farm and woods easily without a wheelbarrow. Without a wheelbarrow. So, you girls will load up the barrow and get to work. Okay? Okay, Daddy. I'll be helping Jessica fix the fence. Those deer got in there last night and ate half her flower bed. Oh, and one more thing. Watch out for rattlesnakes. Mr. Fisher was telling me there are a few of them back in, there in the woods, so be careful. Okay, have fun. Don't take him seriously. He's just messing with us. Okay, sure. All right, the path should spread evenly, so let's start with a nice full barrow. Reese, pay attention. We've got a job to do. I'm Tinkerbell. Why do you think your dad said that about the snakes? About the snakes? Yeah. Who knows? He's funny like that. I don't think it's funny. You just don't understand his humor. I guess not. He used to be a lawyer. He's very smart. Okay. But I guess he shouldn't joke about snakes. Maybe he doesn't know how scared you are. Do you think your dad and my mom will get married? I don't know. It would be weird, I guess. Yeah, pretty weird. But also, it would be cool to have sisters. It's been kind of nice to have some kids around when you, you and when you and Reese come for the weekends. St sisters are overrated. You have to share everything with them, and you fight a lot. But I like coming to visit too. I guess we'd be stepsisters, but the only stepsisters I know are the ones from Cinderella. <laughs> Yeah, the evil ones. Shovel those wood chips, Cinder, laid Cinder Andy. Uh, clean the chicken coop, Cinder Jen. <laughs> Whoa, look out. Huh? Is it a rattlesnake? I don't know, I don't know. What should we do? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Jen, you know about snakes. Take a breath. What should we do? Um... Okay, rattlesnakes are really fast, but they can only strike at a distance half of their length. I I can tell how long that one is. I can't tell how long that one is. Me neither. They sense vibrations in the ground, so we shouldn't make any sudden movements. They don't attack unless they feel threatened. So we just hold still? Yeah, let it move away on its own. Oh no, Reese! Oh, hello, little snakey. You're just like the snake in my classroom. You're a garter snake, aren't you? Bye, little snakey. Reese! Reese! You're okay. Did you see it? See what? There was a huge rattlesnake. It was enormous. It must have been longer than me. And it was getting ready to strike. Sorry we loved you there. It could have gotten you. We're lucky to be alive. 
I'm not doing that anymore. I'd rather shovel the chicken coop every day for a month. For a ye whole year. For the rest of my life. Chapter 7. Next weekend. Are the chickens supposed to be in here? Yes. They're helping by eating the bad bugs that try to eat the flowers and veggies. Oh, I thought the fence would, was supposed to keep them out. It's supposed to keep the deer out, but every time I think I fix it, it they seem to find a way in. At least there are enough flowers left for the market. They didn't all get eaten. How is the granola label project coming? Good, almost done. Beepod Farm Granola. I get to come to the market this week too? Uh-huh. I'm going to be the flower girl. That's for a, si for a wedding, not market, silly. I'm going to help sell the flowers, and I'm a girl, so I'm a flower girl. Everybody ready for the market? Chop, chop. There, Jenny. Stop calling me that. Ooh, somebody's a grumpy Greta again today, huh? Come on, Walter. Why can't you just listen to me? Well, excuse me, everybody. Okay, let's just get in the truck. We're going to be late. You heard the lady. Last one in is a rotten egg. I expect big sales today, girls. A lot of city people up for the holiday weekend. I have to work my rotation at the board table today, so you girls are in charge of the stand. Better let Andy run things this week. Ed, Jenny, Ed, until you get the hang of those pesky numbers. Jen will be in charge of displays and the si signage. Reese, you're on flower sales. Yay! And Andy, you're the boss man. Here we are, my little entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs. I'll be right over there if you need me. You did that yourself? Yeah. That looks great. Thanks. I wish I had nice handwriting. My teacher says my handwriting is like a chicken scratch. <laughs> Get your flowers straight from me, the little flower girl. Aww. Well done, Reese. Excuse me. I just want to say how nice it is to see three, see you three sisters working at a mar here at the market. My sisters and I used to work at our dad's shop when we were kids. You three take good care of each other, okay? Okay, thanks. Hello, girls. How was business today? Excellent. We almost sold out. Daddy, I sold the flowers. Sold out? Well done. It sounds like it's a great time to get a sale going on. Um, the last of it. We could still sell out before market ends. That's a great idea. Uh, two for one, maybe. Let's write it on the board. Hey! Wait! Stop it! What's the problem now, Jenny? I... The signs are my job. Oh, come on. You're not the only one who got, can write on a chalkboard. Honestly, Jenny, if you worked a little harder in the math, you could t work, with, work the till with Andy. Then you could really be a help to your mom here at the market. That's not fair, Dad. The sign is important. People need to be able to read it, and Jen is a, did a really good job. And if Andy does the only important job, that means my job isn't important, too. Of course not, Reese. You're the face of the company. I'm just saying, Andy's the brains of the operation, and Jenny's more like the no-brains. 
Oh, come on. Cut it out, Jenny. That is not my name. Look, stop taking everything so seriously, kid. I am not your kid. And I am not your employee. Well, la di Well, la di da What a drama queen. Hey, where are you going, girl? Where are you girls going? We still need to pack up. Jen, wait up. I'm sorry my dad was being such kind of a jerk face. I don't know why he hates me so much. He doesn't. He's like that with everybody. You just gotta let it go, or he'll argue until he wins, even if he isn't right. My mom says I'm just like him, a know-it-all. You're smart, and I know it. I wish I was smarter.